What's up creators, another newsflash coming your way. Let's get into those updates. All right, let's dig into an update about YouTube Shorts. Last week, we announced the YouTube Shorts Fund. That's a hundred million dollar fund designed to reward creators and to help inform our long-term monetization plans for Shorts. Each month, we'll reach out to thousands of creators whose Shorts got the most engagement and views to reward them for their contributions. Now, you don't need to be in YPP to be eligible for the fund. Creators are eligible to participate if they create original content for their shorts and they adhere to community guidelines. We'll share additional details around eligibility, payments, and more as we get closer to launching the fund in the coming months. As ever, if you've questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And next up, we have a full launch. What we're doing is making sure that we update estimated revenue in YouTube analytics more regularly. Going forward, what we'll be doing is updating those estimates one week after the initial reporting activity appears in your YouTube analytics account. And why? To give creators a more complete picture of their ad revenue during the month itself. So let's take an example. June 1st earnings will first appear in YouTube analytics around June 3rd or 4th, and then will be updated a week later around June 8th to 10th. Now, bear in mind, as part of this update, there's absolutely no change in terms of how payments are calculated or made. Now, a note on the advertiser-friendly content guidelines segments that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks and months. We've gotten really good feedback. What we wanna do now is call out in advance the next segment that we're gonna be doing, which will be around firearms related content. If you have any questions or want to submit any inconsistencies that you're seeing and you don't understand, make sure to call them out in the comments below and we'll dig into them ahead of us filming the next segment. So Google has long given users the option to report ads where you feel that a creative might have slipped through our enforcement systems. Each time a report is made, it helps us to close any gaps that may have evolved in our enforcement systems. But the good news is that each report is thoroughly reviewed and violative ads are disapproved. But we've heard from users of YouTube that it's really valuable to have an option to report an ad as you actually see it. And the good news we want to bring you is that we've developed an option to do just that. You can do so by clicking on the information icon denoted by the letter I in a circle above the volume icon. And then you'll see this option, which will tell you what the ad serving is based on, as well as give you the option to report the ad via report this ad. And that's it for this week's newsflash. Make sure you like and subscribe from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. This has been your Creator Insider Newsflash.